Hey guys, so this is Yuri, and I finally was able to complete my Minecraft hangers collection as you see before you. However, I did cheat. I don't want to lie and be all like, hey, you know, bought a thousand blind bags and finally got the collection. No, what I ended up doing, I ended up buying the whole collection from a seller on eBay and it actually became quite cheaper than buying them separately because at first me and my brother were just going to put our money together and buy a whole box full of the blind bags. But my mother didn't want us risking getting like so many doubles and never the complete set. So we each got our own set and this is mine. And it did come in another bag, but I decided to rip it open and take these out because they're individually wrapped because it was going to be way too long of a video and whatever. So yeah, so this is going to be, I guess, my little mini, you know, haul. Well, not really a haul, more like displaying like now that I have the full collection. And so, yep. So the first thing I have here is the zombie, and it is in this packaging, and I will be taking these out, don't worry. And it looks like here, and he is articulated. He is articulated, and he has a clip so you can hang it on your bag and stuff. But I will be keeping mine safe because it is part of a collection, I won't be just wearing this set any of the doubles that i had before meaning the ones i bought previously i'm i put on my bag and stuff but these won't these will be in my personal collection so that was the zombie and oops i never showed the back and i really do like how this does capture the zombie very detailed however i know that the more larger figures are more ex way more detailed for example the one i think jazzware makes those are way more detailed okay so anyway the next thing i have is the cows and this one i'm actually not going to take out of the packaging only because you guys have seen it before but nah never mind i'll do it but anyway it's pretty funny how he looks like a flying cow in the package but yes i will be taking it right now And it's, the thing that I love about this keychain is that it's quite bigger than the other ones. And that actually depicts how big the cow is. It's not, you know, they obviously they're not going to send you a full size cow as big as like the Minecraft thing is. But this is pretty good and accurate. And he is extremely detailed. This is one of my favorite hangers ever. And please do not ask for trade for any of these. Even if I have doubles, I'm not trading any of these. I do love Minecraft. And to be honest, I bought this set for myself. So, And this is articulated as well. <laughs> and the next thing I have is the skeleton. And it has its own key hanger as well and it is in another one of those little baggies however when you do buy them if you do plan to get them at the store or whatever they come with cardboard and the little blind bag itself but to be honest i think that it's much cheaper for someone to look on ebay or amazon for the complete collection because it's way more cheaper than actually buying them individually because those range from about like seven seven to eight dollars and sometimes six if you're lucky but normally they run out if it's like just six dollars so i love how this is detailed and it's really really nice and you can move his arms however there's that little dot there but honestly that's just a very tiny imperfection otherwise he's perfect and that's how the back looks like the next one i have to show for you guys is the creeper but this one i will not be taking out of the packaging unlike the cow i'm not gonna lie about this one and take it out because this one is actually my third creeper mainly because he is kind of i realize he's pretty common to get the key creeper it's probably going to be like if you buy a bag of five hangers you're most likely to get at least one or two creepers in it he's really easy to get the only thing i don't like about the creeper to be honest he is my favorite character in minecraft however this one isn't really as detailed as the actual character in minecraft I guess it's because you had to fit all those little details in such a little space. But either way, you know, I would have liked to see some details 
Like, if they would have sold a version that had more details for an extra dollar or something, I would have paid it only because it's more accurate to the game. So, yep. So, the next thing I have is this Steve. And I was pretty happy about the Steve. And like other, all the others, the, it, each ha it has its own hanger. Sorry. And I just wanted to add, the hangers match mostly, like, what its theme is. Like, Steve, I guess, is, like, Earth, human. So his is brown, and the skeletons was white, creeper green, and cow brown as well because of Earth. That's what I believe. Or it could just be that they're matching. I'm not sure. So anyway, this one as well is Steve, and I do like how he is articulated. You can sit him down and all that. I just don't want to play around with these too much because, once again, these are going to go in my collection of keychains and stuff and this is the complete set hopefully they do come out with a series too with more characters and stuff because the only thing from the netherworld i believe is the zombie pigman in here and it's not really all the characters like i would have liked an enderman a little silverfish i don't know how they would have made that but you know silverfish a chicken and all that stuff so yep that's the steve and here's the back i'm not sure i believe i showed it but you know one may never know the next thing I have is this Pigman keychain, and he it is pink as well, and this is the only character in the series that's actually from the Nether. The Nether, sorry. He, and this is also articulated, and sorry if I pause for a second, guys. The TV is on, and like an intense moment was happening, and I was kind of concerned. I was like, what? So anyway, that is the keychain. It matches like the figure, and this is the only one from the nether. Sorry if I said neither. I know that's not how you pronounce it. Sometimes I say one thing or the other. So yep. The next thing I have is the stone pickaxe, and I was pretty, pretty happy about this because these are so cute. I just was kind of like disappointed how they only had the stone pickaxes in this series. I think they should have had the diamond and the gold. I know some people would have thought it annoying and just repetitive. It's basically the same mold and everything. Just gold, diamond, and stuff. But I think it would have been really, really a cute touch. And this is the pickaxe. And he comes with this, like, caramel colored key ring. And these are really cool. I do advise you, though, if you do buy these, I wouldn't hang them on a backpack or anything, especially one you take to school, because kids nowadays like to steal and all that. And besides, if you're running around school with this, I believe it'll get scratched or possibly fall out. So yeah, so the next thing I have is the sword, and it is a stone sword. Let me take it out of the packaging for you guys. And it does look like this, and it's pretty detailed. They, these are accurate, actually, like how the actual swords are in the video game. So I have no complaints for that whatsoever. The next thing I have is the pig, and this is my second pig. I did get this one again, and this one is basically same as the cow. It is able to stand on its own. I think most of these are able to stand on their own. Let me check. Hold on. Yep, they're all actually able to stand besides the sword and pickaxe. My bad, but yes. So he does come again like super pig. But you can move his feet so that he can stand. His neck is articulated and I love the job they did on these little pigs and stuff. I know some people were complaining how they should have been more detailed. Like how they shouldn't have looked like pure pink. But to be honest, this is how it looks like in the game. It's not really like pixeled or anything. The only thing, you know, with the creeper, once again. So, yeah. So, the next thing and the last thing and probably the best thing in this. Now, a lot of people are going to judge me because they're going to be like, well, that's not the best character or anything. And it's not even a character. It's just the sheep. I did not have the sheep in my original. Nor about the others. But I was more excited for the sheep because the sheep is so cute. And I'm actually happy how this is a grave sheep. It's not just a regular sheep. Or maybe this was meant to be white, but mine looks rather gray. I think it should have been a white sheep, but mine looks gray. And I know you can find, like, the the rare ones, and they're kind of, like, colored sheep. That's basically what the rare ones are, because someone had asked me if I knew what they were, and they're basically just the rare. 
and colored sheep. Like nothing major, like not an Enderman or anything like that. It's maybe like a red sheep, green sheep. That's pretty much what the chaser figures are. So anyway, guys, this was my complete set of the hangers. And I know this was pretty, pretty long. Hopefully someone watches this, but you know, I really do love Minecraft and I do love these hangers. And hopefully they do come out with a series too. If they do, I do, of course, I'm going to buy the whole set because I do love Minecraft. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I know this was long, but once again, thank you if you stood by me the whole time and actually watched this video. So anyway, bye guys.